Good afternoon. The fourth round of trilateral talks at political level with Russia and Ukraine on the long-term transit of gas through Ukraine after 2019 took place here in Brussels today, uh, 28th of October. European Commission Vice President Maro Shevchevich, uh, who hosted the talks, is here to present the outcome of today's talks. Vice President. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. As you just heard, we just concluded, concluded the fourth round of uh, trilateral talks at political level on the long-term transit of Russian gas via Ukraine uh, uh, to Europe uh, as of next year. And uh, my main message uh, today in all our meetings, bilateral and tri trilateral, was that the time is flying. And uh, uh, given the date, uh, 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 there is and there must be a clear sense of urgency. Therefore, I appeal to everyone around the table to be as constructive as possible. Unfortunately, I have to say that I'm disappointed by today's uh, outcome, and uh, I say this uh, very openly. I had uh, prepared today's trilateral talks in a way that should uh, have allowed us, uh, if there was a political will on all sides, to see a positive uh, progress. Our objective was to arrive to common understanding on key principles regarding the future transit of Russian gas via Ukraine. By that I mean uh, the clear understanding that the future uh, transit contract would be based uh, on the EU legal foundation. I uh, hope that today uh, we can have more conclusive discussion on uh, tariffs and how they are set uh, according to the new methodology which was just adopted by Ukrainian regulator and which is fully compatible with the European standards. I believe that we could have orientation discussion on uh, the volumes of the future contract. I was also putting on the table uh, the suggestions for the duration uh, of the contract and also I underlined the importance about uh, the need to conclude and sign as quickly as possible the interconnection agreement uh, uh, between Ukraine and Russia on the gas transit. I listened very carefully also to the uh, Russian side in our previous meetings and also uh, I was studying carefully the outcome of the meeting on the uh, senior experts which took place few days ago and I understood that for Russia uh, there are very uh, there is very important issue to find a solution to the Stockholm and anti-monopoly decisions as well as uh, potential volumes of the direct gas sales to Ukraine. I have to say that the parameters uh, uh, which I presented being uh, acceptable to Ukrainian partners and they'd be ready to engage on this discussion. Unfortunately, after a very lengthy discussion and mutual explanations, the Russian delegation was not prepared to do uh, the same and I would like to underline at this moment and time. So uh, what next? As I told you today, I am uh, disappointed, but I'm certainly not giving up because I think towards the end of the meeting, we have, I believe, better understanding how we can uh, progress uh, 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 to the future, what needs uh, to be done. And also, I am still 100% convinced that there is the possibility for a balanced solution for all parties. So what we agreed in our closing round of trilateral discussion was uh, that we would uh, intensify to the, to the maximum the contacts, the contacts among ourselves uh, uh, at first uh, on a bilateral basis between the companies and uh, between the ministries and uh, the administrations. And I offered the possibility which was welcomed by both Ukraine and Russia for subsequent uh, expert meeting where we can still clarify some of the technical issues like booking, like the methodology for tariff setting and other implications of the application of European law into the uh, Ukrainian um, uh, transit mechanism. And I also offered uh, 
the possibility for the next round of trilateral talks on ministerial level, which also was accepted by all parties, and we will be looking uh, for the date uh, uh, in November. Uh, I would plea for date which should be uh, uh, coming uh, to our calendar is an agenda as soon as possible, but uh, I would like to have uh, such a meeting well prepared where we would have reasonable chance for the success. So my appeal to uh, all sides uh, is to really use, I would say, every day, every minute for intense bilateral discussions uh, between the countries, ministries and the companies because uh, 1st of January 2020 is around the corner and uh, we, I think, know uh, the issues, know the problem very well. I believe that we also feel where the solutions are. We just need to demonstrate uh, political will and art of compromise to find the balanced solution for everyone, which I am strongly convinced is possible. Thank you very much. Thanks, Vice President. We can, start to, we can turn to your questions, starting with the... Which part of the meeting? 